So hello to uh, to your, your new power forward, Chicago Bulls. All the Chicago Bulls fans out there, say hello to your new power forward, Marco Amonovich. Patrick Williams, move him out the way, man. Marco is here. Marco is the new starting power forward. <laughs> well, nah, no, all seriousness, man. Man, what a performance by Marco, man, in, uh, in Summer League. Now, we all know with Summer League, you know, as fans, we have a, a tendency to overreact to things, but... But but Marco Marco looked it good, man. He looked it, you know, stronger out there. You know, he he, he he you know, he looked it solid. You know, now the question for him is like, you know, it makes me curious, like, like what is his role for this for the real, you know, Chicago Bulls team, you know, going forward, you know, when the season starts. But if I get into it, man, if you were uh, a Bulls fan or you just uh just love NBA content, man, hit the like button, man. Uh leave, leave a comment on, on the uh, the video, help the channel, man. And uh, subscribe to uh, the you know the channel, of course. But but Marco, man, man. So uh, so as we know, the, you know the Bulls had a, a victory over the um, D- Dallas Mavericks. As it you know the game went into overtime, we won a hundred to um, you know to um, ninety nine. Um, you know, it, it, honestly, it's a handful of uh, of observations from this game from from the way Dale, Dale and Terry played and how he looked, but. But none came bigger as to, to what Marco did in that game. You know, he was, you know, and it was it was such a huge thing with Marco uh, this offseason with his, his muscle gain. Um, according to reports, the man added 25 uh, pounds since the start of his, you know, r- rookie season. He went from 215 to 290. Uh, sorry, 240. <laughs> How does that translate on the court? Man, uh, he started the game by flushing home the Bulls' first two buckets. He had a floater uh, out there reeling in the pocket pass or rolling hard to the basket. The other is a, a, a thunder, a thunderous putback dunk. Buried a 20-foot jump jump shot uh, in Stonewall, a Maverick drive, or a block in the first uh, quarter stint. Now, now that uh, hot start he had in the first, you know, he came out guns blazing. Then he kind of slowed down, you know. It, it was kind of honestly, you know, you know, uninspiring to say the least. Uh, he was kind of like, you know, uh, uh, underwhelmed. He kind of slowed down from that, that that fire of a start he had to start the game. Um, you know, results was mixed. You know, he missed m- multiple looks at the basket in the middle part of the game. It failed to immediately, uh, you know, assess questions about his outside shot by going over three from three point range. Now. It's kind of weird because I always remember us building him up as a guy that's going that 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 can pop out and shoot three. But since he's in the league, he's really struggled, and hopefully over time, you know, he he kind of you know irons out his form to where he can be a little more consistent from from three. But you know, you got to give him credit, man, for playing closer down the stretch in the final minute of regulation. He submitted two strong finishes, uh, a layup after an offensive rebound. The other it was like a transition slam. He followed with a double bicep flex <laughs> to, to knock the score at uh, 90-90 and send the game to overtime. In the closing moments of that period, he poked free a uh, steal and completed um, in a, a, a one, uh, an, an and one transition layup to put the Bulls ahead 99-97. Um, and he pulled down an uh, offensive rebound and converted into uh, and ensuing a free throw to win the game, man. Man, Mark, Marco looked good, man. You know, uh, I, I liked the fact that um, you, you could certainly see, see the strength. You, you could certainly see the, the muscle gain he added. Um, you know, I liked the fact he, he had soft hands. He, he had soft, uh, you, know, uh, you know, touch. Um, for him with all that muscle, I would love to see him, like, have more, you know, thunderous, you know, dunks. You know, especially with all that strength, I feel like he can do it. But uh, he has a nice touch, touch around um, the, uh, the uh, rim, rim, man. I can't, I can't deny the man that. And he looked solid. He looked really good, you know, compared to, he looked more comfortable compared to, like, seeing him, like, uh, last summer, summer league and, and some of the games he played for us, you know, uh, last season. Um, you know, the question remains, like, is there a role for him? I mean, if he keep playing like this, you know, and, and you know, I wouldn't be surprised if Billy, you know, gave him an opportunity. I feel like we're going to see a lot of him during preseason, where that's probably where you're going to see, uh, like, like I said, a lot of the film to, to really showcase you know, if he could potentially get um, some, some time, man. You know, we got a backup power forward spot that's just wide open for him. 
I don't know, maybe that's why we didn't sign a free agency. I mean, we signed, signed a, like a veteran free agent because maybe there's some weird like internal belief, you know, that, that Marco could probably snatch up the minutes as far as being a backup for. I mean, I, I wouldn't mind him. But uh, I don't know, man. Leave in the comments with a Bulls fan how you feel about Marco and if he has a, um, a fit on, on his team as that, you know, that backup four, you know, uh, you know, hold down that backup four spot. So leave it in the comments if you feel that way. But, uh, man, that's weird for me, man. Uh, like I said at the beginning, man, like the video, man. Uh, definitely subscribe to the channel, man. It, it definitely helps my, the channel get out to more people, more Bulls fans. Um, and, uh, and leave a like, man. Leave a like on this video, man. That's pretty much weird for me, man. We did.